even from being a young boy in Revelstoke and, and spending time in the English class looking at the mountains around me, having a hard time concentrating and going, I'd rather be up there than down here learning English. But the realization of that happened here. That opened my eyes into the possibility of being in the mountains more for a career versus just for recreational purposes. In Battle Abbey, I first met Bill Putnam in 1973 on a construction project with Ferry Meadow Cabin in the North Southerners. And I was 13 years old. I came here when I was 17 years old, when we came and started the construction and uh, the foundations of Battle Abbey in July of 1977. Well, apparently if I do my math, it's adding up to about 44 years now. <laughs> Which is seemingly just like a year or two ago, but that's another story. The mountains are part of my, my uh, grassroots system. When you're young, you're so full of energy and focused on the mountains, and it wasn't really so much the abbey itself. It was a place to be, but it was everything around the hut that was very interesting. I've been to many of the mountain ranges in the world, and we are still some of the most remote mountains on the planet. It's a rugged terrain. We drop 600 meters to the valley bottom, and we climb up 1,400 meters to the peaks. Just not too far from the hut, you can see up to 10 glaciers from one vantage point. Many people can come here and just sit and look for hours at a time and, and never get bored. Most people do not live in the mountains and when they do go to the mountains they're looking for an experience which takes them away from all the distractions in life that we've created now. Being here there's nothing else to do but look, see and experience what is around you. We like to have fun in the mountains going out here. Uh, we enjoy everybody's level of experience, whether it is nil to very experienced. And uh, to be here with a small group of people also allows us to share that experience with each other. When you're young, you don't really respect the fact that you're building a history and a location as such. This, this particular place was not built by two people. Hearing stories, hearing things that we've done as traditions here, is a sense of seeing the history on the walls and all the other people involved with it is very unique and very special. So whether it be mountaineering or bushwhacking or building cairn or just working here, the, the ground that you gain in personal understanding and those relationships doing so, I'm only learning to appreciate that more now. In a lot of ways, I think coming into the mountains was a means for me to get away from what it was I didn't know in society. I grew up in the mountains, I work in the mountains, I spent my life in the mountains. You can be in a very large city and still be very lonely and certainly not feeling like you fit in. For me in the mountains, this is, this is my place. This is where I fit in, this is my comfort zone. The people that come here, the guests that come here, it's euphoric. It's unbelievable because they would never do it on their own. So taking them out and being able to put them in the mountains, show them something they would never do on their own, and then take them back safely and have them go off at home, creates experiences that are memorable for a lifetime.